Hello everyone, I'm Sukanya from GoEduHub Technology and in this video we are considering an employee and department relational schema and then we are going to perform several database query using this particular schema and the tables included. So here we have created a DBED database with two tables that is employee and department. Now employee table is having fields employee number, the name, the salary, design, the department ID and his or her date of joining. Similarly, department ID is having department ID, the department name, the location or LOC and then the DOE. So firstly we need to create a database and for that the syntax is create database and then the name of database which is DBED. So let us create this database firstly in our system. So this is how we have created this following database having naming DBED. Next, if we have to use this particular database to reflect the changes and to create the tables in this database only, then you will use this particular database. So when you hit this query, you will see that the database is changed. That means the user is currently working in this particular database only. The next is we have to create two tables. The first table is employee table and the next table is department table. So firstly, let's create the employee table having its respective fields and data types. So let us create that employee table first. So when I execute this query for creating the employee table, the table gets created and having various fields and their respective data type. Similarly, for the creation of department table, then in which em uh, employee is working in which department. So here department ID is referencing from the employee tables department ID. It is a referential integrity constant as it is passing the reference from the previously created table. And hence this query is also okay. So both the tables have been created. You can see that what are the two tables being created in your following database. Then those are tables in ED that is department and employee with the help of show tables command you can view that next is we are inserting a set of values in the first table that is employee table so when i insert this particular values and i will insert it all together in the table this is a snapshot of insertion from the sql command line and now let us insert the values so the queries are okay and the values have been inserted in the employee table. Similarly, for the department table also, we are going to insert a set of values having ID and in which department and where is the location and the date. So when I execute this particular query in my SQL command line, the entries in department table will also be made. So this is how both the entries, entries are made. Now, if you want to display the set of records being entered in the two tables, then you are going to use the select command. And for that, we write select asterisk from the first table, which is employee table. So select command is used for data display. Unless and until any column name is mentioned in the place of asterisk, it will delete, it will display us all the columns in the tables like this. Similarly, for the next table that is a department table, you have to write select asterisk from department. So this is how department table is also been visible. A department ID from this employee table is passing reference to the department ID of department table as it is a referential integrity constant. Next, what we are having is display of records is done with the help of select and the first query is display the name of employees working in marketing department. So where clause will be used and then from employee we have created a passing variable e, e dot name we have selected from employee table and from department table we have selected d variable which is passing the id. So we have displaying the name and we know the department must be marketing so for that we have used simple where clause when i execute this particular query i can see that in marketing department there are only three employees that is avi avinash and nikita and that is true here id with respect to the id seen here that they are working in the marketing department the next is you have to display the details of the employee joined in the month of August. So you can extract using the date function and you can write a subquery that extract month where the e.doj that is date of joining is equals to 8. Similarly, when I execute this query in my SQL command line, I'm going to see that the employees who have joined in the month of August 
and their respective details that is employee name the number the salary and the department id and similarly the department name are displayed over here those are 101 avi having salary 10000 his department id in which department that is marketing and similarly in csc department nikki is working from the month of august the next query is display the details of employee who get the maximum salary who is the employee where maximum salary is being get by him so we all know that max is basically a aggregate function it works on group of tuples and then display a single row as a result so when we execute this query in our sql command line we're going to see that there will be only one returning value and that value is nick he has the maximum salary and his department id and his department name is also being displayed the very last query is if you want to count the number of employees in each department similarly as max count is also a group function it calculates the overall value and then returns you the set of tuples according to the respective other conditions mentioned so count is done on employee number that how many employees it will display as you have renamed the column as total number of employee from the department table and the employee table for respective count to be fetched and then you have group by d name group by is also a clause like where clause what does it done it does the grouping of a particular column value where the values are same to fetch the count so when i execute this query in my sql command line i can see that in csc department there are three employees in ece there is only one employee similarly in electrical there are two employees in mark marketing there are three and in mechanical there is one employee respectively so this is how count works with the help of group by that grouping needs to be done otherwise how can you fetch a particular count so in this video we have considered a employee and then a department schema and executed several queries on the basis of it for more queries we will look into other videos thank you